is Western Mass News. Nearly two dozen protesters arrested at last week's pro-Palestinian encampment at UMass Amherst, facing a judge this morning on charges tied to that incident. Western Mass News was in the courtroom as each of those protesters made their first appearance in the case. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 5. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Abby Carnavalli. Western Mass News reporter Wesley Days joins us with what we're with more on what happened earlier today. And Wesley, this is just the start of these arraignments. Yeah, we have to remember over 100 protesters were zip tied and taken to jail for their role in this encampment. For the first 22, their day in court may be over, Abby and Chris, but they have a long road ahead in this case. From protest to punishment. I feel like this is an erosion of democratic norms, and I find this really, really concerning. Nearly a week after these 22 protesters, a part of a pro-Palestinian encampment nestled in the corner of the University of Massachusetts Amherst Student Union lawn were arrested. They faced a judge in Eastern Hampshire District Court in Belchertown Monday morning, the first of more than 100 to do so. One after another, they entered the same plea on multiple charges, including failure to disperse and trespassing. Good morning, Your Honor. I would ask for um, the, charge, the reading of the charges to be waived and if we're not guilty, please to be entered. It's a switch in scenery for these 22 who spent much of last week pushing the university to disclose and divest from military organizations tied to the crisis in Gaza and the school. Henry Morgan. 2498 CR631. Just minutes after Henry Morgan's arraignment, the Hampshire College student didn't hold back to Western Mass News on how he felt about his arrest and subsequent arraignment. I'm a student at Hampshire College. I was actually at the event as an independent journalist. I was wearing a press pass when I was arrested. Peaceful protest, journalism, independent journalism, and the right to free speech on campus are really, really vital to the continued existence of, a, of the democratic process. And the, the violent repression of nonviolent protest on campus especially is a really terrifying event that we should all be worried about. Now, some of those protesters were also facing a resisting arrest charge. Now, there were supposed to be 23 protesters facing a judge today, Abby and Chris. One person had a personal matter that blocked them from making an appearance. It's unclear how many protesters will be in district court tomorrow. Now, tonight at 6, what we've heard so far from the university at the center of all of this, you don't want to miss that in our next hour reporting live in studio, Wesley Days, Western Mass News.